Good evening to everybody. Hi. Shalom. May the shalom, peace of God be with you all. Amen. Those who are watching from uh, on uh, media, through media, we wish from the great city of Tulsa to you in Jesus' name. Everybody say shalom. Amen. May the shalom peace of God be with you. May the shalom peace of God reign in your heart. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay. Today, my message is giving. The year of 2017 is the year of receiving. In order to receive the Bible, the Word of God, teach us. When we give, we will receive it. Amen? Amen? In Luke chapter 6, verse 38, Jesus himself said, Give, and it will be given unto you. Amen? Amen? Yes. Please kindly repeat after me. Give, yes. and yes. it will be yes. given yes. unto you. Yes. That is the secret of receiving from Almighty God. Amen. Amen? God gave us the secret how to receive His blessing, how to receive the great harvest of bountiful blessings of God. That is, we have to have our generosity to give. God is our good example. He is a great giver. Can you say amen for that? God gave us His only Son, Jesus, to be our Savior from heavenly place. He came down to the world. He became human being, 100% human, flesh and blood body. He gave His Son even to die on the cross. To be our Savior. Jesus himself gave his own life for us. Amen. So that with that the love of that giving, many people receive that love, that forgiveness, that Jesus himself into their lives. And therefore many, many become the children of Jesus, the children of God Almighty. Hallelujah. Amen. Therefore, the secret of receiving is giving. Everybody say giving. Once, once again. Giving is the secret. The way that God prepared for us. Amen? Hallelujah. God is our good example. We are children of God. We have the nature of God in us. Many of us also, after we have been born again, been receiving Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, when we receive His love, His forgiveness in our life, we automatically also want to give. To give. Even to give ourselves for God. Hallelujah. And just now we give our tithes and our offering. Giving is a great part of worship. Amen? Amen? Giving is a part of worship. Okay? We shout. That is also worship and praise. We pray. That is also praise and worship. We sing. We dance. We jump. We pray in many ways. That's all are also worship God. But most of, above all, giving is worship. Amen? When we really feel the greatness of God, the awesomeness of God, or the, when we feel the love of, when we know the love of God, we also want to give back to Him whatever He has given to us. We just want to give back to Him. Can you say amen for that? Therefore, giving is a great part of worship. If you are a true worshiper, a true worshiper is not only shouting 
or not only jumping, or not only praying, or not only singing. A true worshiper must be a great giver. Can you say amen for that? A true worshiper must be a great giver. Worship the Lord with our giving. Abraham loved the Lord. When the Lord asked of him, he was even willing to give his own son to sacrifice because his love for God. Hallelujah. Amen. Even in this world, when we live, when we love someone, we are willing to give anything for, the, for her or for him, right? When we love our children, we are willing to give everything for them, right? When we give our brothers and sisters, we are willing to give them. And when we give love a girl or a boy, boyfriend or girlfriend, we are willing to give everything. Even somebody saying, you are my world, something like that. Everything we want to give. Now, God is our world, our everything, right? When we love Him, we want to give Him. We want to worship Him through our giving. Can you say amen for that? Yes. Hallelujah. That's what Jesus said. Give and it will be given unto you. Hallelujah. And when we study the Word of God, giving is like a kind of putting a seed. When we put a seed into the soil, in the ground, in the harvest time, we harvest a thousand times. Even, even ten thousand times we harvest. A small seed we plant. Harvest time, we harvest. Many, many times we harvest. How much more, whatever we sow, and put a seed into the kingdom of God. How much more we are going to harvest? Can you say amen for that? Amen. Jesus seems to have taught us when he was in the world. Do not put your money, your treasure in this world. Where the thief can come and take away. Where it can be burned. Where it can be destroyed. But when we put our Trust our money or whatever we have into the kingdom of God where the thief cannot come and take away, where no fire can burn, nothing can destroy. It will remain forever and ever. Just now we, you put your money in the offering bag. This money will remain forever and ever for you. Can you say amen? But the, the money is still left in your pocket or in your purse. Or in your bank, it can be burned or it can be destroyed. It can be stolen by any, somebody. But the money we put into God's kingdom, it will remain forever and ever. Give a clap offering to Jesus. In another word, giving is a kind of a great opportunity to open the windows of heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Therefore, those who know, really know the secret of giving, when the time of giving time, they can shout like that, Yay! Why? They know this is my blessing time. Can you say amen for that? But the stingy spirit, <laughs> the stingy spirit, when the giving time comes, again offering. With a sad face or a sad feeling. But the, the one who knows the secret of giving is a great blessing. When the giving time comes, they say, they are happy. Say, yay! Everybody sound like that? Yeah. Yes. Hallelujah. God expects our generosity, not a must, but generously, willingly. That kind of heart God expects from His children. 
because he also gave us his son with a generosity. He wants us to be blessed, to be to prosper in everything we do, to have a good life, to have a prosperous life, to have a successful life, to have a victorious life. In order that he gave his son Jesus to be our savior, to rescue us from every curse of the sin of the world. Hallelujah. Now we are no more under the curse of sin because of he gave his son Jesus for us. Amen. We receive that Jesus. With Jesus, everything is ready for us. Can you say amen for that? Amen. amen. By, not, by that knowledge, we are also very thankful to God. We are also very grateful to God. And we are willing to give back to him. Whatever we can. Can you say amen for that? Yes. Hallelujah. That's the kind of heart that God wants from us. Amen. Yes. Among the many giving, tithe. Tithe is 10% of our incomes. Whatever we receive any blessing, 10% of the, the incomes of the blessing we receive, that is belong to God. Amen? Amen? If we have $1,000 received as a wage this or as a gift from someone, out of $1,000, is totally belong to God. Amen? When we live in the United States of America, Every time we go to work from our salary, from our income, automatically the tax was cut off so that we are faithful to the nation, the country, so that we can also enjoy the blessing of the United States of America. All the education from the children are supported by the government through our taxes. All the road, all the housing, all the hospital, many, many support we receive from the government, from the nation, is because people are faithful to the nation and so that the nation become prosperous and the nation can support and help the poor people, the, the sick one, the jobless one. They can provide food stamps, many, many things, Medicaid and something like that. Why? The people of the United States of America are faithful to the rules and regulations of the government. They give to the nation. The nation support them back. The nationalities who live in the United States of America. Amen? Some countries are very, very poor. When we study why, the people are not faithful to their taxes. They don't give. They don't support the government. So that the nation, the country become poor so that they cannot provide anything not for no education for children no health care nothing the reason is the system itself is very poor and the people are also not faithful to give to the nation so in this world if we want to be prosperous country or nation we have to be faithful to our taxes. How much more we, children of God, to be faithful for the kingdom of God? Can you say amen? Amen. 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 Jesus said, out of ten, one is, is belong to him. So if you have $10,000, $1,000 is belong to God. We are not supposed to touch it 
or use it by our own management. We have to bring to the kingdom of God, to the, the house of the Lord. Here, Malachi chapter 3, I shall read it for you. Malachi chapter 3. Verses 6 to 12. Malachi chapter 3 verses 6 to 12. For I am the Lord. I do not change. Therefore you are not consumed. O sons of Jacob. Yet from the days of your fathers. You have gone away from my ordinances. And have not kept them. Return to me. And I will return to you. Says the Lord of hosts. But you said. In what way shall we return? Will a man rob God? Yet you have robbed me. But you say. In what way we, have we robbed you? In tithes and offerings. You are cursed with a curse, for you have robbed me. Even this whole nation, the whole nation, bring all the tithes into the storehouse that there may be food in my house. And try me now in this. Amen. Says the Lord of hosts. If I will not open up you the windows of heaven and pour out for you such blessing that there will not be room enough to receive it. Can you say amen for that? Amen. And I will rebuke the devourers for your sex so that he will not destroy the fruit of your ground, nor shall the vine fail to bear fruit for you in the field, says the Lord of hosts. And verse 12, and all nations will call you blessed, for you will be a delightful land, says the Lord of hosts. Give a clap, wonderful clap offering to you. Hallelujah. This is the word of the Lord. God said, tithes is belong to me. If you do not give tithes to the Lord, the word of God clearly said, we rob God. The whole nation gone away from God's ordinances, he said. Therefore, the whole nation is to be cursed. So that come back to me, the Israelites, how we will come back? Bring all your tithes and your, all your offering to the house of the Lord. In my house, there will be food so that you, when you bring those things. So today, today, we, the children of God, this is the house of the Lord. Can you say amen? Yes. Where we eat spiritual food. The sermon, the teaching of the word of God, the praise and worship, we do everything, uh, our spiritual food. We eat that here. We receive from here. Therefore, we, whoever belong to the Full Gospel Assembly International Ministry, members of this church, we have to be faithful here. Amen? The tithe is belong to where you belong. Where your local churches, 
where your mother church is. You eat your blessing, your spiritual fruit from here. You and I have to be faithful here to support this house so that in this house there will be food, the word of God said so. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some people sometimes, when they want to give their tithes to their homeland or their home church back home or, what, or also support Bible schools as evangelists. No, you cannot support with all these things. All your tithes must come to the house of the Lord. Can you say amen? Amen. amen. If you want to support the Bible school students or evangelists or a crusade or whatever, give from your other offerings. Hallelujah. Support them with your generosity, with other offerings. But your tithe, we must bring to the, the house of the Lord. So that in the house of the Lord, there will be food. Amen. I had a story from uh, Australia uh, that three guys, three men, went to a minister and asked of him. When we go to our church, our pastor preaching, we are not so blessed by his preaching. We really so bad in there. We, when we visit other church, we are so blessed. And then he, they ask, should we leave our mother church, our local church, they ask. And that minister, no, do not leave your church yet. Let me ask you one question. Have you ever faithful your tithes and your offering giving to your local church? They said, no. How long have you been not giving that to your local church? They said, if it already long ago, then the, 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 the ministers tell them, go back to your own church. Be faithful your tithes and your offering to your local church. Try at least three or four months. Then come back, then we will talk again. Then these three guys try and give their offering, your tithes to the church back. And after four months later on, they will never show, show up to the, the minister. And one day the minister said, oh, you guys, what happened to you? He said, we are now blessed by our pastor, blessed by our local church. Have you bring your tithes and offering? Yes. Since we met you, we faithfully give. So let me tell you, when you give your tithes and your offering to your local church, your local church will become your blessing. Can you say amen? Amen. amen? amen. Since we are a member of this church, we have to support this church. Wherever you belong to, wherever we belong to, we have to support our local church. One local, to run one local church is a, a lot of expense. To hire pastor, ministers, and to buy a, a land or a building or a sound system or a media or whatever. The lighting, electric bills, utility bills, so many things. A lot of money is cost. If we don't support, how can we, a local church, Nowadays, in, even in the United States, many churches start to sell their church building. Why? They can no longer afford to run their church building maintenance. Why? The member, uh, the member left the church or the member are not faithful to the church. So the church can no longer learn it. They finally, they have to sell their property. What a sad news that is that. Ever today, you young, most of you are young people, young generation. In order to run this church for a longer period of time, we have to support our church. Can we say amen? With our tithes and our offering. Even here in our church, I think then very, very few churches will do the, the, the thing that we do here. One person pass away or funeral time. For the funeral cost, our church helped that family for $10,000 for one person.
The church loved the people. The church tried to carry the heavy burdens of the church member by helping them in their time of sadness. Helping. Without $10,000, we cannot go to cemetery. The funeral is, cannot be done. So we help them because we are, many of our church members are new arrival to United States of America. Many of us do not have life, even life insurance yet. Maybe later on, when you young people have your own life insurance, maybe we will be set free. The church will be set free from that kind of help. But now, many of us, we don't have life insurance. So we need to help. And we try to stand for the, the members of the church. Therefore, the church member have to know and support the local church. Can you say amen for that? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 1974, the year 1974, I accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. From that time on, when I read the, the Word of God, I read this scripture. I know Tithe is belong to God. We cannot touch. We cannot use for our own management. We have to bring it to the, to the, the Lord's house. So I faithfully keep. In the year 1977, when I pray, I was so melt in the love of God, in the presence of God. Then I said, out of ten, only one belongs to God. Out of nine is belong to me. If I love, I, I so love God, why can't I give from my share? So since 1977, I gave one more person, so 20 person, two out of ten. I give to the Lord. Since 1977 until now, already 40 years, I have been given 20% of every income I receive. At the time in Burma, I was a small pastor. My salary was only 300 chats. Myanmar currency. Out of 300, 20 percent is 60 jets. I give to the church or free. I came back with 240 jets. From 240, I, I give offering. I give other also. When I married to my wife, she was a school teacher. We both agree and we both gave. 20%. Whether we have enough or not, we keep and keep. Faithfully keep. Sometimes we have a hard time to keep. When we calculate, it is not enough. Hard time to keep. We face. But still, by God's grace, God strengthen us to give the 20%. We pray and kneel down and seek the Lord and we pray, give. Until now, over now like 40 years, the Lord has been faithful to us. He enabled us to give until now faithfully. When I look back my life, I was a very poor boy. I was an orphan boy. Even I don't see my, I never have a chance to see my father. He passed away before I was born. My mother died when I was young. A very poor, from a very poor village, a very, from a poor, very poor situation, family. But still, whether I am enough, I have enough or not, I give and give. Now in 40 years, when I look back, I never become so poor. I become more blessed, more prosperous. 
Amen. Amen. I even have good house in our country, Yangon, Myanmar. Here also I have a good house, a good cars. I, I am traveling all around many countries of the world, preaching the gospel message of Jesus Christ. I have many. All my needs are met. According to the word of God, 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 6 to 10, when you read, when we give faithfully, God provides in our need, our everyday need. He provides our everyday need sufficiently. Amen? So, God is the one who provides us a seed to plant. Some people don't put a seed to the ground and they eat. The fullest nest of heart is eating the seed that we are supposed to plant. If a farmer eats his the seed, how he will have harvest? No harvest at all. Right? When a, a, a farmer, a gardener, whatever, when they put the seed into the ground, they don't eat, they put into the ground. In the harvest time, God multiplied it in hundred times, thousand times, ten thousand times they harvest. Amen? So when we have a chance to put our seed to give away for the kingdom of God, for somebody, for the poor people, for the widow, for the orphans, for the church building, for the mission fund, whatever, whenever we have a chance to plant a seed, be happy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be full of hope. Cheerfully give it away. God will give you back. Hundred times. Thousand times. Ten, even thousand, ten thousand times. Can you say amen? amen. Hallelujah. So, I've been, by God's grace, faithful in my giving. With my family also, my children also, my wife also. And when I come pastoring in Yangon or here, wherever I pastor, I try to be a good example in giving. So all my church members know and they also become generous giver. Amen? Even here in this church, last year we collected over 800,000 among the many Myanmar churches, I can say, we are first in this city. Amen? We are the top. Amen? Humbly, gratefully, I give all the glory to Jesus. And I speak it, we are the, the top. So our treasurer put all the list of every man giving and finally he gave me the list. Even this morning I look at some of you are really wonderfully a great giver. I, have, I want to say thank you, all of you. God bless you more. Amen? At the same time, some of the people, the whole year, only one time give God. I don't know what happened to them. Even some people, their, their name is not there. What to do? May the Lord bless them. May the Lord open their hearts. Amen? May, may they receive a great revelation of giving so that they can be also a great giver. Hallelujah. Amen? Amen? Praise the Lord. Do you want to be a great giver? God, may the Lord bless you. Amen. Amen. Here, our friend, what's his name? Kham Khan Lang, Mang Khan Lang. Would you stand, please, Lang? He is a young guy like you, not married yet. A young man. He is working at bus plan, right? 
out of all his income, this whole year he gave thirteen thousand and eight hundred and eleven dollars. He is the top. Amen. There are many the Zomi service and the Myanmar service. Ten of them come and stand here. Amen. There are many faithful givers in the church. Therefore, the church can run now. The kid, the church can survive. The kid, the church can do missions. The church can support someone else. The church can do many things. Let us be continue to faithful to the Lord and to the local church. Can you say amen? amen. God will surely open the windows of heaven. And God will surely, surely bless us. Even that the, just now we have read the, the word of God. Even the room cannot contain the blessings that we receive from the Lord. Not enough room for us. Hallelujah. Therefore, today, let me challenge you. Whether you have enough or not enough. Number one, first, be faithful to God. Do not touch your, your tithe. Tithe is the basic giving. Even not offering yet. Tithe is, it is God, belongs to God. The rest become offering. Amen? Therefore, let us be faithful in our tithing. Next, be generous for our offerings. Various giving. So that God will surely bless our family, our business, even our education. Even in every area of our life. Can you say amen for that? The year of 2017. The year of receiving. In order to receive many blessings, let us be generous givers. A faithful givers. Jesus said, give and it shall be given to you. Hallelujah. Can you say amen? Amen. amen. Press down. Shake in. Run over. It will be, you will be given to you. That is the promise of Jesus. If Jesus has, are you going to give? If Jesus, has, how you will be, how you will answer? Will you give? If Jesus asks you, will you give? What will be your answer? Only one person say yes. yes. If Jesus asks you, will you be? Will you give? With, if he asks you, what you will your answer louder? Yes. Amen. Yes. Let us stand. Hallelujah. Now I can see many young generations standing before me. Many general, generous givers are standing me. Many generous young generation, generous giving people who will make a great history, a great change in your family life. In, in, you will change the history of your family. Even you will change the history of Full Gospel International Ministry. Even you will change the nations. You are a great people. A great givers. God will surely bless you. I want to sing in closing. So blessed I can contain it. I cannot contain it. Amen? Amen. Let us, shall we, some of you, you come here and dance and singing before the Lord. Come forward. Let us jump and sing before the Lord. So much. I have to give it away. Can you say Amen.
God for me. I love you so much. I will worship you with my generous giving. I will worship you with my generous I will be faithful to you. I will be faithful to the house of the Lord. I will be faithful to the house of the Lord. God bless me. God bless me. In Jesus' name. Amen. I know you are blessed now. Amen. You will do great things for the kingdom of God. By your giving, God will surely bless you. God will open the doors for you. There will be many ways, many doors that God can bless you. Be faithful. Be generous in your giving. With the generous heart, give to the Lord. Give to the house. Support the house of the Lord. Surely you will be blessed in this house. Lift up your hand and worship the Lord and give thanks to the Lord. In closing, hallelujah, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We bless your name, O Jesus. We worship you, Lord. You are so good to us. We bless your name, Lord. You are the source of all the blessings. your blood for us, oh Lord. Lord, Father God, you give your only son for us. We are so blessed by your giving. Lord, we promise you to give with a generous city, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, Lord. Holy Spirit, thank you for this great revelation of giving. You continue to reveal to us so that we will be more generous, more faithful in everything we do for your kingdom's sake. We will see your glory in our life. We will see your provision, your protection, your favor in every day of our life. Help us to be more generous givers. Let us be faithful and with a generous city, we will worship you with our giving. Lord, let us learn to know that giving is a great part of worship. So that we will worship you in spirit and in truth. Even though in some time of difficulties and hardship, we will understand that is a time of test. We will continue to give to you faithfully. And you, we will see your supernatural supply in our life. And we'll, we will testify for your glory. Lord, this generation will make a, a great history, a great, na- a great change in their family life, in this church life, even through the whole nation. We will, they will see your glory, your protection, your favor, your provision. We give you all the grace, all the praise, all the worship, and all the glory to you and to you alone. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. God bless you. Amen.